So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and today we're going to be going over iPadOS 14.7 Beta 2. Now this is the first beta that I actually put on the new M1 iPad Pro, so I had to go through the whole profile installation, go through the developer website, so if you guys want a video on how to sign up and register for Apple's developer program, and even their public beta developer program, let me know, I'll maybe I'll make a video on it because I know that one of them you have to pay for, one of them is free, but it is accessible to anybody who is willing to pay or sign up for free essentially. So. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to get a video and find out how to install the betas on your either iOS or iPadOS device. Because I think it's always cool to play around with uh, those new betas. But without further ado, let's see what's going on with 14.7 Beta 2. Let's get it. So let's get right into it, everybody. So the first thing I do want to go over is the actual build number or the actual size of the update itself. Now keep in mind, I did not have beta 1 installed on this device, so that's probably why the update is so big. So right here was 4.5 gigabytes, so if you are starting the new beta program from scratch, give yourself about 9 gigs of space in order to really install this and make sure you install it correctly. But if you're going from beta 1 to beta 2, I doubt that the size of the update is going to be this big. So keep that in mind if you are coming from beta 1 to beta 2, or if you're starting with a brand new beta program from to begin with. Because like I said, this is the first beta update that I put on the new M1 iPad Pro. The next thing we're going to look at is the actual build number to see exactly how far away we are from an RC or a GM or a finalized edition. So we're on 18G5033E. Now if you guys have been following the channel for a while and following these updates, then you'll know that these letters means we're getting closer and closer to the beta. So the, so the closer it gets to the letter A and the fact that it doesn't have a letter at all, that means we're getting closer to the final release. So it's going to go down from E to D to C to B, and then ideally A, and then finally get rid of the letter and have a final release to the entire public. So I do think it's a little bit interesting that we're still kind of far away from a final release of 14.7, because again, there aren't that many differences and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So even if I go back into my photos, go into the release notes, this is where Apple lets us know exactly what they changed, what they added, what they fixed. And here you can see that in the general notes, there are no new release notes for this beta software update. So again, it was probably just a bug fix update, a software fix update, just to make sure things were working. Because I did see that Brandon Butch mentioned that if you go into your HomePod, there was an actual issue with the HomePod in terms of setting a timer. So if I hold long press on this HomePod down here, Especially with iOS, you'll be able to see down here that there's a timer option to set a timer. And before, the timer was all wonky, it was messed up, the code wasn't precisely correct, so it kind of like ruined the experience of setting a timer through the HomePod. But then again, this is also new to me, this whole HomePod setting menu. So if you guys do have a HomePod and are wondering how to get like the serial number and stuff, it's all in this menu. And one big thing that I did notice, and I don't know if it's a 14.7 Beta 2 specific update, but spatial audio and auto switching with the AirPods Pro has been amazing as of late. With my 2018 iPad Pro, I had so many issues with it connecting and disconnecting, and if I had more than one device, it wouldn't know where to go. But now even when I have my MacBook, my iPad, and my iPhone in the same vicinity, it knows exactly where it needs to go. So again, I don't know if it's a 14.7 update or it's the fact that I have a three-year-old newer device finally, so it can really take advantage of that spatial audio and things like that. But overall, my AirPod Pro auto switching and spatial audio experience has gotten worlds better in comparison to my 2018 iPad Pro. And now let's talk about performance a little bit. So in terms of performance, it runs very, very smoothly. You can see I have a bunch of different apps open. One quick test that I do want to check out is the RAM situation. So you can see 2K is over here. I haven't actually played it since yesterday. I think I left it in mid game. So let's see if it restarts live. Look at that. So that situation would not happen with my 2018 iPad Pro. So the RAM is absolutely amazing. So you, normally it would reset, which is another problem but overall performance is awesome i haven't had any issues or hiccups with beta 2 everything is very smooth and clicky there haven't been any issues whenever i open up apps or anything like that so it's all good to go from a performance standpoint but now if we go into the actual battery let's go into battery see how we're doing because that's one thing that the ipad hasn't really lived up to in my opinion like i had a three-year-old ipad pro the 2018 version and that was already getting terrible battery life because of the age of the battery and how I use the battery essentially. But over here, you're looking at the last 10 days, we're getting about four hours of screen on time, 15 minutes of screen off time. And if we start to like really hone in and see exactly how much battery we have. So for instance, this is a 100% battery power day and I only got three hours and 36 minutes of screen on time, which is a little bit concerning. And then if I go to another day like this one, where I have six hours and six minutes of screen on time, the battery performance 
is a little bit better. So it really depends on what type of usage you're getting. So you could see right here that YouTube is taking up, for some reason it took up a lot of power. When I was using it, maybe it wasn't optimized quite yet for the new M1 processor, but hey, that's what we have. And then in the last 24 hours, but I got six hours and 17 minutes of screen on time. So the battery life is better than my 2018 iPad Pro, but not as good as I thought it was gonna be. But again, these are all numbers with the Magic Keyboard always on and always ready to go. So I rarely have used the iPad yet without a Magic Keyboard accessory. So maybe that's also deterring the battery life a little bit. But just wanted to give you guys some heads up on what I'm getting from a battery life perspective. Really anywhere from five to like six and a half hours. I don't think I've crossed, here we go, this is a seven hour day. You can see that for an hour and 34 minutes, that took up 50%. YouTube, two hours, took up 30. LumaFusion for an hour took up another 15%. So this is where you can really hone in and see what applications are sucking out the most juice. But that's pretty much it for this view. Let's get out of here and go to the normal view. So as everyone saw, there was no real changes with 14.7 beta 2. A lot of it came with 14.7 beta 1 and remastering the audio. But again, all that is really mostly done on the iOS side. You can get access to it on the iPadOS side. But again, I'm not a Apple Music user, so I have zero access to the enhanced music updates that they put into the music app. But even in the release notes, Apple put zero things for iPadOS and iOS 14.7 beta 2 because there was nothing new. It was mostly just bug fixes and bug enhancements to make sure that the operating system is working how it should be. And ideally, just getting us ready for 15.0 beta 1 coming in the next few days here on June 7th. So definitely stay tuned if you guys wanna get some iPadOS content. Subscribe below, comment below exactly what you guys wanna see because I'll be doing a lot of iPadOS 15 coverage from quick reaction videos to dedicated videos to live streams of demoing the software. So like I said, stay subscribed, join in the family, and uh, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, so excited for iPadOS 15. Apple, please don't let us down. Shout out to the people that made it to the end of the video. You guys are legends, comment that.